What's up everyone? Today I'm in the forest uh, around Angkor Wat trying to do some entomology work here on my own. It's reasonably safe here to walk on my own. I have a GPS and a map with me and plenty of water for one day. So we're just going to look around and catch some butterflies and moths if we can and see if there are any nice pieces around to show on YouTube and to breed back at uh, the butterfly farm. So this is where I'm currently walking, a bit of an, uh, a road and uh, an agricultural clearing here in the forest. We live here around the corner is a rice farm and uh, they cut out this road in the forest to be able to access their food crops. Um, which is bad for the forest but good for me since it gives me a place to walk around, check some of the native fauna, make some good YouTube content. I do my thing. I came here today to uh, scout the area for notable insects. Oh look, there's a butterfly. Oh, it looks like a great egg fly. Let's see if I can capture it, okay. Got it. Can you see it? This is uh, the Hippolymnos bolina. Common species in Asia, okay. Let me pause for a second so I can show it to you. Sadly, I captured a bit of an old male. It had a lot of wing damage, but uh, that shouldn't ruin the fun. Because this is still a beautiful iridescent butterfly. Wow, do you see the blue there? The great egg fly or Hippolymnos bolina is a very common butterfly in many parts of uh, tropical Asia. They lay their eggs on uh, a variety of plants, but uh, most of them are directed, they're directly related to nettles. Also a few uh, other plant families. Um, they are very dimorphic and can have several color forms. Well, I do not know the subspecies that fly here in Cambodia. Oh wow, that's, a, that's an awesome dragonfly. Let's capture that one for the next video. But uh, yeah, this is a male, so the males are quite useless. I'm looking for females that will lay eggs for my breeding program. But uh, he is a victim of my YouTube channel. Anyways, uh, my collecting ethic is don't collect what you don't need. So I'm gonna let this one go since this one is of no use for me. Maybe he will sit. Oh yes, oof, there he goes. Goodbye, Mr. Eggfly. Well, there we go. This is one of the, uh, in my opinion, coolest butterflies we can find here. Oh, sorry, did I say butterfly? I mean dragonfly. That's a Freudian slip right there. But these dragonflies are very common here. And uh, some of them, if you see them flying, they look just like a butterfly. And uh, I think these have, they have these colorful patterns, maybe to uh, distract predators and the verge attacks away from their body. But uh, it's really, really cool to see them here. I have no idea about this pieces, so my followers, you will have to help me. Thanks for watching. I will release this one in a second. Also quite common in the forest are these uh, Neftis species, like these. Usually they glide a little bit in the vegetation. So I see some nice monarch butterflies, or well, their relatives doing a courtship here. Not flying high. You know, for the yes, I have him. I have it. Let's show you this, this epic species. <clears throat> Come on, yes. So by the looks of it, this is definitely a relative of the monarch butterfly. I gotta tell you, I am a little bit rusty on butterflies, so I'm not quite sure if this thing here is actually in the genus Danaus or more related to uh, to the common crow and species like that, but. It's definitely of the Danai day. And typically these butterflies lay eggs on several types of Apocynacea 
which in Cambodia come in the form of trees and huge shrubs and also things like milkweeds and it's great to see them here in the forest sadly I have another male which is useless for breeding but useful for my youtubing so uh, guess I have the opportunity to show you this nice butterfly today goodbye my friend I hope you reproduce well Believe it or not, what you're looking at right now is some species of spider. Isn't that well camouflaged, huh? So I was just strolling around here in Angkor Wat forest. So my eye here notices a fat ass cocoon on the floor. Yikes, what? Sorry, I thought there was like a spider inside it. This is a hatch cocoon of the Anthuria. Um, there are some huge populations of Anthuria here in the forest. And I think this one should be Anthuria friti or Larissoides. They're definitely out here breeding on the big old Dipterocarp tree. I'm sure you've seen my earlier video where I collect some cocoons that are actually still alive. Would be good to find some of those too right now, but uh, it's probably wishful thinking. This diptero tree, uh, diptero carp tree is quite high sadly, so... But yeah, it's good to keep an eye out there for us Saturnids. Well, aren't you well camouflaged, huh? <laughs> Gotta love these kinds of candidates. Long time ago I used to breed them. Before I was into butterflies and moths. Although I have no clue if it's the same species. Probably not, because there are thousands of species. and This is just a random one in Cambodia. But uh, gotta love them candidates, huh? Just caught another good old forest butterfly with my net. Looks like one of the crowds, a male, I think, because it's protruding the uh, sand structures that males have. Regardless, a nice species. And thanks for watching. My name is Bart Koppens, a traveling entomologist from the Netherlands. Working with moths used to be my hobby, but thanks to my exposure on YouTube and social media, it became my job. Thank you for following my travels in Laos and Cambodia, which is part of the video series that you're watching now. This is the outro video, so skip ahead to the next episode if you like. I would just like to remind all of you to like and subscribe, and consider joining my crowdfunding platform. Because as an independent entomologist, crowdfunding enables me to do independent work on insects and improve my YouTube channel. So if you are willing and able, Please consider joining and otherwise I would like to say thanks for watching and stay tuned for more insects and moths. Bye.